Hey guys, so in today's video, I thought I'd be doing a diaper bag haul. Um, I kind of wanted to show you guys what I normally keep in my baby's diaper bag, what I normally take with me, what I don't. And just kind of the essentials that I feel like you really need to make sure you have in your bag. Especially like for people that are new to being, you know, parents, new moms. You know, I know this is probably something that will really help you guys out. I wanted to just show you guys what I normally keep. It's kind of a lot, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. But this is his diaper bag. It's pretty kind of big keep a lot of things in here so side pockets right here I normally keep his bottles right there um whenever I'm about to like take him and drop him off at daycare now if you want to you can put your bottles your baby bottles inside whenever you're dropping off at daycare it's totally up to you but I also actually keep like miscellaneous things for instance gloves I always keep like a handful of gloves and then I also include a teether on the side for him and then a spoon one of his spoons are in here but I'm actually going to show you guys the front pocket I actually keep his spoons on the front pocket but now um, when it comes to the front pocket right here what I normally keep in here it's kind of a lot you know what this is this you use in case your baby is choking in case you need to get something out of his ear in case you need to get you know boogers out of his nose not out of his nose you know, things like that. I also keep inside his pocket a extra pacifier um, clip. This I have not used yet. Um, it's brand new. And I highly recommend this one just because I love the texture and the feel of it. So I feel like it's going to be a really good grip. And plus the material is really good. And I feel like this is just something that will like last forever. You know, the ones that are just like probably like made of cotton. Regular pacifier holders. Those things, you know, you have to constantly wash. I normally just soak mine in hot water, boiling hot water because, you know, so many germs are everywhere. But, you know, this, you know, still have to make sure you clean it, but it doesn't take too much of a, a hassle, if you know what I mean. And then also, I like to keep extra gloves in there. I like to keep gloves in there just because I don't like to touch things whenever I go into the daycare. And even when I touch things and then I go to pick up my baby, you know, I make sure I take the gloves off throw the gloves away and that way I won't have to worry about touching him with it and then I also keep this the baby bump cream I don't know if you guys heard of this brand this is really good too I have a little like sample of it but I do recommend it it's really good I've had that for um almost a year now I also have this diaper brush cream now some of these items I've actually had um before he was born so it's just why I'm just like highly recommend it to y'all because I've been using it for him and it's just been working wonders this diaper brush cream I do recommend as well. It's really, really good. I'm the type that I like to use things that are like pediatrician tested or things that are just very good for the baby, things that are organic. Because I like to make sure that I'm using, you know, products that doesn't use too much ingredients. And then I also like to make sure I have like extra pacifiers for him. Um, these two I have um, that I keep in his bag. I keep a pack of these in there. These are like little mini wipes in case I, you know, run out of hand sanitizer. I just use these. So I literally have like a pack of those that I keep um, in the house. Also I meant to mention this right here. You guys definitely should get because that is actually, it's for you to like keep dirty diapers in. Like in case you're out in public and you don't have anywhere to put the dirty diaper. Just put it in a sack and then throw it in the trash whenever you see one. So that is what I recommend. And then I also keep another, it comes with the extra one. So I keep that in there as well. I also... Let me just go ahead. So I kind of have it like sectioned out a little bit. I have like three different, well, four different compartments at the bottom of his bag. So one is like full of his spoons, full of his medicine, full of like, well, not medicine, but it's like things that he needs. Like for, like for example, this right here, thermometer. This I have like a mini little uh, dish soap in case I'm um, at my mom's house or at a friend's house and I can just easily like clean off his pacifiers, his spoons in case I feed him. Things like that. Another thing I keep is an extra like medicine syringe for him. Like if I need to give him some medicine. His mini like baby wash and shampoo. Like I said in case I'm somewhere and I'm staying, I end up staying the night somewhere and I want to I want to clean him. His mini shampoo and conditioner. And then another mini um, shampoo and body wash. And moving on to the next compartment. Um, I keep hand sanitizer so this um these are like like these are sanitizers i kind of just got yeah i just keep like three of these in here his infant uh earache drops in case he has an earache 
Um, you know, babies have like ear infections, things like that. Um, I like to give this to him in case like he like doesn't have like any more medicine or if he doesn't take any more medicine for it, I go ahead and give this to him if I notice he's starting to have an earache. And I also keep extra spoons in there. These are the three right here that I keep in there so far. You know those little like wristbands that you get? Let me show you. These little like wristbands that you get like at the hospital on your wrist. Um, those I keep. I just like to, um, I just type of like to like keep things like that for him. Um, just for, um, I guess, just to look back on. Um, I just always wanted to like make sure I keep like his tags of when he like gets checked into the hospital. And, I don't know, it's just for memory. Now, moving on to what I have inside his bag. I'm going to start with the pockets. I actually bag the socks for him. Um, I just keep it in this little, like, Ziploc bag just because I don't want to just have him, like, sit off in there because, you know, one, one will get lost. And, yeah, I just, I mean, I just prefer it to be in the bag, so I just know that it's not, you know, just everywhere sitting in his bag. But, yeah, I keep the extra thing of socks in there because he does tend to get his socks dirty at the daycare. On the side pocket, I normally keep his bottles in there sometimes. Sometimes it just depends on how many bottles I bring to the daycare. I normally keep diapers, mostly diapers, whenever we're about to leave or if we're not going to daycare and we're just going out like to the doctor's appointment or if we're just going out for a day or going out anywhere. So right now, I just have like his mittens. Another thing is mittens. A hat for him. I have this right here. It's a, just a mini back of rash cream. This one, I do recommend this brand, Aquaphor. It's really good. I actually have a big bottle too, so y'all should try that. Um, if you don't, if you feel like any other diaper cream does not work, I definitely recommend this one. So far, I believe this works. It works every time. Next, I also have um, another side pocket. Now, in here, I normally keep like his bibs. They always have bibs that they care, but still, like keep extra ones. And then uh, another hat. And then I also keep one of these in there. Now this I got from Pampers. I actually have like a like subscription with them. So I typically get like a, I was getting like certain like boxes and things. Sample of like diapers, diaper cream, rash creams, different things like that. So they sent this to me as well. This is just a mini little mat that I can put him on. In case I'm out somewhere and I want to, I need to change him and I don't want to lay him on anything. This is very needed. Getting off into the bag itself, I have some diapers, some wipes. Now this brand I do highly recommend, just because I love, love, love the smell. I really don't try to use like um, anything that's too strong, anything that's has like too much ingredients in it. I really try to reach for hyperallergenic wipes and uh, diapers as well um, free of like parabens and you know latex and all that stuff so yes I definitely recommend this just because it's a very very clean smell um, it's the um, this one I have the baby fresh smell um, that's the name of the smell the scent so I do highly recommend this one because it keeps your baby smelling good a big thing of water it's just baby water because at the daycare sometimes I run out and Sometimes they say they'll use sink water and I say no, I have his own water right here. So I always use this. I don't really like to use sink water. I don't use sink water at all. Another thing I have, which is very essential, which is an extra mask for me and extra mask for him. Of course, um, as little as he is, he doesn't wear a mask. But when he does get older, um, I do pick these up at the doctor's office. So I just make sure to grab some so that whenever he gets older, he'll have them. Another thing I keep, of course, is extra clothes. I don't have that care of um, until like during the week so I just make sure I keep his extra clothes uh, at the bottom sometimes sometimes I normally just refill it every weekend because I change his clothes that I bring with him to the daycare these I just discovered recently I didn't know they had these which was pacifier and teaser wipes so in case you know he drops a pacifier um, teaser anything he's got in public or uh, daycare I make sure to grab this so I very highly recommend this because I do have flavored ones. This one is vanilla milk and he really loves this. But um, I just say just because like the um, smell of it is really good. And then also it's flavored. So, you know, he'll, he enjoys it. Well, my baby, he enjoys the flavor. So I'm sure many other babies will enjoy it as well. So I just recommend y'all to get these. So that is it. That includes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Um, it actually didn't take as long as I thought. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I didn't have much in there that I normally put in there whenever he's about to go to the daycare. I also want to mention that, you know, I do also make sure I put in, like, his cans of formula whenever I'm about to, like, go and take him to the daycare. So make sure you guys prep that. Make sure you guys make sure you remember that. Um, sometimes if you need to, if you think you're going to forget something like me, sometimes I can be forgetful. So make sure you guys maybe write a list down and make sure you pack everything the night before whenever you can go take your baby to daycare the next day. Um, I like to make sure I prep everything the night before. Make sure bottles are filled. Make sure they're clean. Things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed it. Um, this is something I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys because, you know, like I said, there's new moms going out there. There's people who are looking to figure out, okay, what should I bring to the daycare? What should I bring when I'm out in public with him or her? So, you know, you know, people need advice. People need to know this. So, yeah, so those are just the things I thought I'd share with you guys that I keep putting my baby's diaper bag. Um, some things, like I said, I didn't put in there. Some things I um, just didn't mention because I didn't have it in there. But um, if you have any other, like, suggestions or any, like, comments or, like, you know, advice that you can give me that I need to put in my baby's diaper bag, please let me know down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.